hi guys welcome back i know you guys have missed me but you know the way life gets sometimes it just hits you and you just need a break but thank god i'm back on track so here i am so this week i decided to share a story basically about myself and basically try and explain what's been happening the past couple of weeks well actually since this year began so yeah enjoy so um i'll make i won't make this story too long i'll i'll speed it up so yeah basically at the end of last year i bought myself a car and i was able to secure a new job so entering 2017 i was all about you know i just got a car a new job i'm gonna be flexing things are gonna be good you know little did i know but okay so i started my new job in january beginning of this year and what i normally do at the first uh first month of each year i try and fast just to you know clear my mind get my get my head straight get myself you know back in the game so for like in january i fasted and after like the first week for some reason i just stopped fasting i was like you know what i can't be bothered there's no point you know life is going well why do i need to fast so i stopped fasting and funny enough as i entered the new year 2017 i had a feeling like something bad was going to happen like i don't know if you've ever had this but you just feel like you could feel like something is coming and i had that feeling but i was just i kept on putting it under the rug like you know it's nothing maybe i'm just paranoid or whatever so i forgot about it then as i started my new job i started like from day one i started making mistakes and when i say mistakes like mistakes that don't even make sense like because I'm a part qualified accountant there are some mistakes that I shouldn't even be making like if I'm doing a cash forecast I shouldn't be I should be as accurate as possible so I was just making silly silly mistakes and it started weighing heavy on me I started getting really anxious I started feeling somehow because I was like I've never gone into a new job I've never gone to a job I made so many mistakes but with this one it was so different I was just making mistakes upon mistakes upon mistakes upon mistakes like they were endless and so I started feeling really anxious and I started feeling the stress and I was really scared that oh my god I hope they don't um let me go because the mistakes were not even making sense and it's not like me to make such mistakes so I started feeling really like really bad and sometimes I would actually cry because this this job was like a step up from what I was doing before and it's more money so I was like I really wanted to make a good impression but I was just messing things up so like for the first month I just started crying I would I always like after work I used to go home and I just used to cry and cry and cry I was like oh my god like what's happening why are all these things happening okay so one faithful day when I got to work my manager and the HR manager called me into their office and they're like you know what we're just going to get straight to the point unfortunately we're going to have to let you go I was like hold up <laughs> let who go like hold, like i felt as if my life my life flashed before my eyes i was like sorry excuse me repeat it did you just say something hold up like i was and it was so weird because at that point a part of me felt a peace i don't know how to explain it like i expected myself to cry but i didn't cry a part of me just felt like you know what's okay you saw this coming let's move on and i'm the kind of person that i have plan a plan b plan c up to z like i have all plans backup plans to make sure i'm secure so as they let me go i packed my stuff i left the office and then i called one of my friends and i was like oh my god you won't, mad, you won't believe what happened i just got fired she now she laughed and she was like no be serious like you're joking i was like i'm so serious like i actually literally just got fired like i couldn't believe it like i think i was in a state of shock Maybe that's why I didn't cry. I was like, okay. And then when I got home, I now started thinking. I was like, okay, I've lost my job. How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my bills? Then it started clicking. It started clicking that, you know, what's like, <laughs> Petra, it seems like you're screwed right now because you've just lost your only source of income, well, your main source of income. So I was like, okay, cool. 
you know, they fired me. I was still thinking, you know, don't worry, something will come up. So, as they let me go, I started applying for new jobs, you know, hoping that, you know, eventually I'll get another one, get another interview and stuff, whatever. So, I used, to, I was applying, applying, applying. Now, at this point, my account was getting lower, and lower, and lower, like, I had no money. So, things were getting peak right now, like... There were days that I didn't have food to eat. There were days that my, because my electric is pay as you go. There were days that I didn't have electric, like I didn't have lights. And I would just sit in my room like, what is going on? Like, what's happening? So there was a day I went to see one of my other friends. And I'm the kind of person, when this kind of thing happens, I tend not to tell too many people because it's like, it's not, it's not something you should be proud of. It's, it's embarrassing. Like, it's like, what? So, I was I was talking to when I went to meet one of my friends. I told her what happened. And she was like, oh wow, that um, maybe I should apply for cleaning. I was like, clean, clean. I couldn't even finish. I was like, clean, clean what? Clean, uh, clean. I was like, nah. <laughs> I actually laughed. I was like, nah, it's not possible. Myself, part qualified accountant, graduate. I should go and clean. She was like, no, Petra, you never know. Like people, um, situations happen to people and. People are found in different situations and there are lots of people that clean. I was like, clean? I was just like, you know what, me, I can't clean. What if a friend sees me cleaning? And then I'll be like, Petra, are you cleaning? So what will I say? I'll be like, ah, no. I just came to see a friend. Like, so many things were going through my mind. But little did I know that God was trying to humble me. So after so much back and forth, I was like, you know what, it's okay. Let me do this cleaning hopefully to get some little money to help me until I get an actual job. So, it's funny how God works though, because, okay, so after this, I went for, I didn't know cleaners, you had to do an interview. So, I went for an interview, they said, okay, you got it. I was like, okay, cool, thanks, you know. Normal interview, you'd be excited, but I was like, it's cleaning out. A part of me was still like, I can't believe I actually went for this interview. So, um, they said the next stage would be, they would send you, they would send us um, a text, saying the available jobs they have and if we're free so what happened next was um well obviously i got i went home and i was waiting for them to send a text little did i know that that whole cleaning phase was just um was a test from god like you know god tests us in so many ways and sometimes we're so quick to just be like you know what, I can't, I can't do that, I can't, I can't do that. Like, I was so close to not doing the whole cleaning stuff, so, but my friend was like, just do it, just do it, and she pushed me, and I said, okay, fine. So, as um, the next day, before I got a text saying, okay, um, we have um, this job here and here, available here, are you able to make it? And normally when they send you those kind of texts, you're meant to reply saying yes or no. Now, as before I was about to reply, I got a call from... A job that I applied to and it was like um, it was a temporary role for like two three weeks now at that point what was going through my mind was like that's not even going to be of any help like it's not that doing that job will not even cover half of my rent and stuff but it was still better than the cleaning so when the guy called me I was like, okay cool I'll accept it when do they want me to start he was like you can come in tomorrow I was like oh okay that's not bad. Coming tomorrow. Okay, cool. So, see, that's that's why I said that whole cleaning was a test because if I didn't apply and go for that cleaning role, I don't think I would have gotten this actual temporary work that I got. But, and at the end of the day, I actually didn't have to do cleaning. Like, it was just, as I said, it's just a test. So, we ha you have to be careful because you never know when you're being tested. You neglect the smallest things thinking, oh, forget that but secretly God's testing you to see if you're capable or able to handle what he's about to bring you okay so at that point I got that one and it was a temporary role and the pay wasn't so fantastic but it was something and the reason that I was happy to have it at that point was because I realized that the more you stay by yourself the more you're thinking about a certain issue that's when depression can set in but because I got that role, I was able to, you know, go to work and stuff. 
funny enough when i even started that temporary work i didn't like it so like after first two weeks i actually stopped because i did not like i couldn't stand it i did not like it they say beggars are not choosers but i was like i was like god i cannot do this like i cannot do this so i left and which was not a good idea i should have stayed there for the um, time that i had but i'm stubborn so i left so after i left mind you babes are still broke no money no food and at this point like it didn't even occur to me that i wasn't even eating because i was thinking of so many things i was thinking of how i was going to pay my rent how i was going to pay my bills so i would be kicked out and this weather that is not even fun i didn't want to be outside in the cold so um after oh before i even got that job there was a day where i don't know if you remember, i said earlier that I, I got a car last year at the end of last year so this day i want to go to the gym because the gym is like my escape like i'm just free of everything i just go there do my little workouts and leave so as i was about to go to the gym i entered my car my car stopped working like it, it, it didn't even start i was i still thought it was a joke i was still laughing at Maybe I'm not switching it on properly. I, took, I tried to take the key out. The key didn't come out. The key was stuck in. I would turn the key to start the car. Car didn't start. Like, I just started weeping. Like, I just started crying. The first thing that came to my mind was, God, like, are you being serious right now? That everything that I thought I worked so hard for at the end of last year, that I was going to enter this new year with, you're basically just taking it away from me that's the way i felt i was so angry like i was like i've lost my job my car i'm basically about to lose my car now because it's not working it's going to cost so much money to fix it money that i don't even have due to me not having a job so i was just like everything was just hitting me so i was pissed i came back into my house sat i was i sat down switched on my lights my light didn't come on just to realize that i didn't have electric so like so many things were piling up job gone money money no day and car car is not working so so many things were piling up and like that night i just i lost my cool i lost my cool like i came to my room i just started crying i was like i was crying you know the kind of cry that you cry and you cry yourself to sleep that was the cry i was crying i was just crying weeping weeping like god what's happening i thought the, i was shouting i was like i've never done anything to anyone i've never hurt anyone i don't understand why all this is happening to me right now like what's going on and i felt like i felt like i was alone because if you tell i know people say um talking to people about your situation helps it helps but at that point i was like if i tell someone my situation the most they'll do is oh sorry don't worry you'll get over it and i was just like you know what i can't deal with this so i was crying 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 like mind you no electric no food no water nothing i was just in my room like a part of me and this went on for days i was crying for days like if you see if you had seen me you probably would have thought nothing was wrong because i put on makeup just to make sure because i didn't want people to ask me questions so i would look okay but like inside inside me i was broken 